Alrighty y'all, we just gonna hop right in. I was wondering, how do I start this? Like, do I say something really quizzical? Like, hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Or do I say something really serious? Like, you've come to the right place. I didn't know what to say, so I'm just gonna say we're gonna get started. This, this, channel these videos grew out of a need for a community that's not being catered to I don't believe that community is single parents who are homeschooling you want to homeschool your child but you don't really have any support you don't have a man your grandma or your mama live in another state or whatever the reason is but you still want to homeschool your child sis you can do it it's not easy but you can do it I'm a single parent I've been homeschooling now for two years uh, what I want to do today is give you the top, my top 10, ooh, my nails are ratchet. Look at that, look at that. Don't judge me, we were at a water park yesterday. I'm going to get them done. I don't think I'm going to put my nails back on screen though. Anyway, my top 10 things of what I did before I started homeschooling. Um, that way it can help you. I'll have videos to come of, um, you know, what our schedule looks like, what our day looks like, what we talk about, how I keep my sanity, because that's real. That's real. So let's jump right on in. Okay, first thing you want. My name is Ashante. Yeah. All right, first thing. If you're thinking about homeschooling. Oh, there goes Ratchet's nails again. If you're thinking about homeschooling, you need to find out what your state laws are. Every state is different. I'm in the great state of Texas. Texas does not care about children's education. I don't care what they put on TV. Texas is one of the easiest places to homeschool a child at. It's literally maybe four things that you have to teach your child. I've heard of other states where there's this whole curriculum and uh, it has to be um, approved by the school, the local school district. You have people who come by and look at it. There's testing that has to be done. Texas does none of that. But to keep yourself covered, you need to know what does my state need. Also, each state, if for instance you already have your child is in school, each state needs to have a certain amount of information for you with, to withdraw your child from school. That's imperative because if little Johnny just, you have decided you're going to homeschool him, but in their eyes, little Johnny's just missed 14 days of school, they can come after you. You don't need those problems. You already got enough going on. So first look at your homeschool laws in your state. A really great resource is the homeschool legal defense. I'll try to link up uh, their information below or in the description thing. They literally go state by state. Their services are free. You can go on the website, look them all up to see exactly what they need. They'll even give you a um, example letter of what you should send to the school. My advice, follow the letter to the T. Don't go add anything extra in. Give just what they say. Now, I really liked the the school that my daughter was in, particularly her teachers. So I sent like thank you letters to them. But for the legal, I'm taking her out of school. I went with what they had to a T. So number one, check your state laws. Number two, look at your schedule. Be honest about your schedule. Um, I was, I'm, I'm a nurse, so I worked three days a week. I would pick up a lot of overtime. When you get ready to homeschool, you can't really pick up as much overtime. I was able to work with my previous employer and say, I need to switch to where I'm only doing these days, A, B, and C. And they were able to work with me. Now you may be saying, sis, that's you. I work Monday through Friday, you know, 7 to 5. Okay, it's still possible. It's just a little bit harder. You may need to look and see, can your employer change it where some days you can work from home? If not... Can you do where um, you have a curriculum, which we'll talk about, uh, can you do a curriculum where the child can do a lot of the work on their own, depending on how old they are? Do you have family nearby that will be okay watching them during the school hours while they do their homework that you already set up? It just takes a little bit more time, but you need to look at your schedule now to see, is this something that I can squeeze in? Usually you can. 
um, looking at a regular homeschool day, what the kids do in school, like in a public or private school, that eight hour chunk, you can get done with your child in two. You will find yourself going through curriculum so quickly. So it doesn't have to be a long day. The basics you can get done very quickly. It's when we like to add stuff in, which of course we like to. It's fun. My lip gloss looks really good. Like I'm checking myself out. Anyway, number three. This is important. Keep your mouth shut. Not everybody and their mama need to know you think about homeschooling your child because not everybody and their mama is going to be on your side, especially if you're a person of color. Now, this is just being very honest. I never heard of homeschoolers growing up. It wasn't something that anybody I knew had or did or what it was. So when I went to go tell my mama I'm going to homeschool her, it was for what? And I don't have anybody else that I really bounce ideas off of. So her... Her thoughts of why not keep her in a school that we fought so hard for our people to get in, it kind of took me back. And I'm not saying anything against her because there's truth to that. But for me and my family, what we were being called to do, I couldn't go off. Oh, there go them ratchet nails. I couldn't go off of what she was saying. I had to do what I heard God telling me to do for her my family. So it's best not to share your goals just in general, really with just anybody because not everybody's on your side. But when it comes to homeschooling your child, this is not something that you need to tell everybody. On the flip of that, number four is you need to tell some folks though. You need some people who you can say, girl, I think I'm losing it. Or they can talk to you and say, is that really what you think God is saying? Um, so how are you going to work it out? And it doesn't even have to be in a hater way. It could be in a bounce ideas off of because this, especially when you begin it, it's not the time to go solo dolo, sweetheart. You need people. And you need people who can speak into your life in such a way that you realize you can do it. Um, excuse me, y'all. I have salad for dinner. Um... And so those people are really good, especially people who you feel like could be a support system for you. You know, if you have a sister who's not working right now, um, she may be able to help you watch the baby or just do something like that. Um, OK, so before we talked about the scheduling in your curriculum, start looking up curriculums. Curriculums are tricky. OK, in one of the videos I'll do, we'll talk about that, because when you go to look up homeschooling things, you are going to be overwhelmed, sis. There's going to be literally hundreds of things. Oh, look how my teeth are. Mm. <laughs> I brush my teeth. No, there's going to be a hundreds of things that vie for your attention for curriculum. Look at them. No, don't don't look at all of them. Look at a few of them. Think about, okay, so um, maybe Johnny isn't the best at spelling. I want to focus on things that are basic for spelling. Because a lot of times you'll notice that uh, if a kid isn't good at spelling and he's like in the ninth grade, you want to go back, really, go back to like seventh, sixth, and start over pretty much. Um, a lot of times states will have um, free curriculums. It is provided by the state, so your child will still have to take uh, state testing at the end of the year like all the rest of the public schoolers. But what it does is it allows the state to still get um, monies, like tax dollars, for your child even though they're not in the school. So that way you get homeschooled. If there's a teacher that handles it, they, they get attendance and all that, but it's, it's he's at your home. So for me, that wasn't something that I wanted. Like I said, we'll talk about all that later. But it's a good thing if you're just thinking about it and you got a lot going on, but you just know you don't want him in that school. Look at it. It's like I said, a lot of them are free. Um, free is a big deal because the next thing is budgeting. Whew, baby, when I tell you getting ready to start with homeschooling will break the bank if you let it. Baby, it'll break the bank if you let it, but don't let it. So many times, everything that I got, I printed off at work, or I got from the Goodwill. 
I got from the half price bookstore. I got from the dollar store. Okay, I, I couldn't afford to pay, you know, all this money per month just to get started. That's not my life. I was just trying to get this going. So look at a budget of what you can afford and not just even for school supplies. Look at a budget of what you have right now. How is your budgeting right now? Are you living paycheck to paycheck? Uh, do you have a surplus? How is your savings? How is your spending? You need to know these things because like I said, when I started, I no longer worked overtime. Um, so if you depend on that extra money and you can no longer do it, what's it going to do to you? What's it going to do to your household? You need to know these things. So look at your budget. I'm trying to hurry. I thought I was going to do 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, next thing, try to find local groups. It is surprising. You think that there are no homeschoolers? Whoo, it's a lot, honey. So when you go, I always say, check your library. Go to the library on a Tuesday at 11 o'clock. Any child you see in there, homeschool, find his mama. Uh, also, Google local homeschools. There is a site. I'll try to link it below as well. I want to say it's A2Z Homeschooling. It's fantastic. It goes uh, state by state with um, homeschooling groups as far as like basketball, extracurricular activities. And it, you need that as well. So find local groups. A local group is important because these are our women primarily who who are doing what you want to do. They have the wisdom that you need. And even though they may be married, because 95% of them are married, probably 99 sis. They still are doing what you you want to do. So you need that. Um, number eight, which probably should be number one. You need to pray, CISO. You need to pray. And you need folks praying for you. Because this this has been the best blessing of my life. I'm not going to lie. Um, next to having the child, being able to see her grow in this way, spending this time with her, has been an absurd blessing. But it's been a test, y'all. There are times where I don't like my child. And I'm just being honest. You are going to need to be covered. I don't care if you're praying to baby Jesus. I don't care if you're praying to grown-up Jesus. I don't care if you're praying to Buddha. I don't care if you pray to Allah. Baby, you better pray and have folks praying for you. You need that covering. Um, nine, set up an area. One thing about homeschooling is... Once you start getting stuff, it's just, it, it overwhelms you. There's so many things. So set up a little area, you know, in your room that this is where if it gets to be too much, I can't get any more homeschool stuff. Set up an area where you'll have your um, actual homeschool to be at, where there, most people, most of us do it at the dining room table. If it's at the dining room table, then it's at the dining room table and that's that. Don't get too much. It can be a lot. You overwhelm it fast. And last thing is realize you need to be flexible. Understand that how you see it going in may not be how it is. And that's okay. It's okay. Trust me, sis. You're not going to mess up your child because you want to give them a better education. I think that's one of the things that we're all concerned about. Be confident in the fact that you can do this. You can do this. One of the things that I love to think about is, you know, um, you can eat the best cuisine in the world. I mean, the greatest chef ever made it, but it ain't nothing like your big mama food. And that's real because there is something about the love that gets put into it. Know that you're going to do wonderful. You're going to take care of your child. Hopefully this platform gives us community that we don't have right now. I hope that this was informative. It's way longer than I thought it would be. And I apologize for that. Maybe I should talk faster. I don't know. But like I said, I will be making other videos to include budgeting, curriculum, um, getting me time. Because sis, you're going to need that. You're going to need that me time. And if there's anything that you have a question about or um, you're unsure about, uh, make a comment. Send me a note. And I promise I'll address it. All right, y'all. Till next time.